Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's 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 what I'm talking about. Erin. She like, I don't care. I'm here. Uh, there's love in the air. The other girls better be scared. Because, uh, I got the kiss. Everybody know. Because I got the this. Yeah, she about to win. Bree. Ooh. I mean, Monica too. I mean, ooh. They know what I do. Yeah, it's your boy Dustin. And it's your boy Denzel. We're back again today with another video. Today's video is episode 9, season 3 of Twin My Heart. Oh, yeah. Last week's episode, Daniela went home really, really sad. Today's episode, we know someone's going home, but who can it be? Hopefully, this episode is a little bit more less drama. Last one was really emotional, so hopefully this one is more fun and upbeat because I don't know if my soul could take any more heartbreak. I feel you on that one, Den. AKA Hash Brown. Oh yeah, just to let you guys know, every Monday at 9 p.m. Pacific time, I go live with some of the girls from season three. Last week we had Daniela, Erin, Monica, and my guy Vince is right there with me. So make sure you guys follow me and tune in because tea definitely gets spilled during those live sessions and we have a lot of fun. But before we start today's video, if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so please help us get there by smashing that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We're dropping videos every freaking week. You don't want to miss a beat. Be a part of the Moon Squad because we along with the stars and we shine bright in the night hey in the night hey but enough of this guy let's jump right into the episode so the letters you will be finding make a word and that word is today's one-on-one -on -one date this is probably so fun right 30 seconds is not enough like it's not Aaron found one now she found r Aaron's determined this episode mm -hmm. this is hard because it's like where you yeah, randomly like, supposed to yo. find it Oh my god. That's dope. Yeah. I was just thinking like, yo, I wonder what would happen if they find another the same letter. letter. I feel like Bree is going to be the one to <gasps> Oh wow, Bree found that so fast. She said, mine, got it. They came back in one, wow. Wow. That looked like a fun challenge. Definitely better than the challenge we had to do with going to the pool hole. Oh yeah, 100%. Aaron has been hinting about going on I think Erin should go on a one-on-one -on -one date. I know Gabby, well, Gabby kind of had her little one-on-one -on -one date before Monica's one-on-one -on -one date, but I would say that we haven't really seen Erin and, and Nate romantically and together. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see that chemistry, that connection that they have, you know? I don't think Bree should win MVP, though. Monica should what? win MVP. Monica should definitely win MVP because she found most of the letters out of everybody. 100%. Monica deserves MVP. If Brie gets MVP, bro, this is rigged. Of course. This is rigged. This is favoritism this at its finest. This is favoritism at its finest. <laughs> so the first time I picked right MVP. Monica. Defense was hustling. Aaron. With that said, Aaron. Wow, I was not expecting that. So that means Mo Monica has to go on a date then. I mean, he could pick Aaron to go on a date as well, but. Nah, he, I, I'm hoping he picks Aaron on a date because even though he just saved her, they have a history. So obviously it's not like he's turned off by the history. Like I don't want to see her anymore. Obviously he's like, she's safe for another night. I think they need to give us that. They owe us that. They owe us yeah, a they, date. They, yeah, they, 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 they owe us a date. Today. Gabby is on a chopping block. She may be going home. Gabby is definitely on a chopping block. The one-on-one -on -one date tonight. I'm gonna take a little bit more time to think about that one. Oh. He's always pulling these twists and turns like, he needs a little bit more time to really be like, damn, I can't, I can't take Brie on another one. Right. I gotta pick somebody else, gotta... what y'all telling me? <laughs> the director's like, no, Nate, you cannot take Brie on another date. Pick one of the other girls. Right. Other. If you guys Erin is taking initiative, see? She's like, even though I'm safe, I'm still not letting my foot up. She really has no choice. Like, you haven't done anything up until now. But I'm happy. I love this. You see how she's like taking initiative, even though Gabby did it uh, last week, uh, two episodes ago. But it's just like, yes, I'm happy that everyone is like, no, I want, I want a date. I want a date. I want a date. You know what I'm saying? It reminds me of like how our season was when, um, when Ryan was like, oh, let me pull you over here to this date. Vince is like, let me pull you over here to this date. It's just like that competitive spirit where yes. you just steal, you're stealing time. Yes. Because the time is limited, but you need to steal yes. as much time as you can. Exactly. You sound like a professional. Bro, I am. Didn't start off as friends first, so. Forehead kisses are very, very special. Wouldn't you say? 
They are very special. That means you care about that person a lot. Right, and look at her smile after that forehead kiss. She's like, oh my god. She feels very tingly inside. He hasn't given Brie a forehead kiss. Mm -mm. He gives her that passionate, I want to make love to you kiss. Mm, but like, Aaron gets that, my little baby. Mm, show me my little boo thing. Aaron is stepping it up in the ranks, especially after the favorite memory of us. Whatever happened at Saddle Ranch? Mmm. Why the? Where was Hollywood fixed? Why didn't he catch it? Or did he catch it? We gotta go look at the for the video after this. We're gonna race from here to around. So Guarantee winner gets, gets a kiss. <laughs> Guarantee winner gets a kiss. What makes you think that? He's a serial <laughs> kisser. I'm going after it. These girls are finally, finally bringing the heat. Shh. No, 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 one more. Yo. No, no, again. Again, one more time. Oh, no, not again. Oh, one more time. One, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, she's like, oh, again? Oh, again? Like, nigga, let me get a breather. Oh, wait, need again? Like, what I say? What I say? I said, whoever win will get a kiss. Right? Yo, come on, man. Nate is like, yo, it's getting down to the end. I gotta kiss every single girl. Right, because I might never get this moment He's again. Like, I wish I can kiss every, every girl, girl in the world. <laughs> Yo, Monica kissing Nate, Aaron kissing Nate, Monica kissing Aaron, Nate. Are you trying to have a threesome with these girls? Mm, a thruple. A thruple. Mm. All you serial kisses out there, we know Nate is y'all king. He's y'all leader. <laughs> he is the epitome of serial kissing. Okay. Okay. Watch out for. Him. <laughs> Callate Siri! Lo siento. Because <laughs> we're about to go into midday elimination. One oh, you already know who's going home. I just want to say, like, good thing Monica kind of like had this moment with him just now, because she's definitely safe. I mean, he did. He Monica was safe regardless. Like I said before, he's going to eliminate who he hasn't kissed yet. Oh, you're right. That That's is his Abby. MO. We know his MO. If you Google Nate Wyatt and you look at his Wikipedia, in the description will say, if you do not kiss him, you will be eliminated. <laughs> That's what it says on his Wikipedia page. You can go look it up. Yo, you're so stupid. Like, it's there. So the person that I'm eliminating, Gabby. Hi. Yeah, Gabby is sweet. Nah, she really is. She taught me the word charcuterie. Ch charcuterie bar. The charcuterie board. That's not how you say it. How you say it? Charcuterie. Charcuterie board. The charcuterie. Why, why you keep doing that? Because it's like a board of cheese and meats. You... Charcuterie. Char it's flat. Charcuterie. <laughs> <laughs> charcuterie. <laughs> like. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he really lets go. Of, like these are really good girls. No, serious? Oh, Gabby! It's so sad because she really was saying it's okay and it's not okay. Damn, that's so sad. I didn't know what this episode to be emotional again! And it's gonna be emotional! person that I am taking on my one one day. Monica. Is. Mon Brie! Monica. Brie! Ooh. Did you not see the kisses? I mean, I did! I did see the kisses. That's why. I mean, that makes sense, but also, I feel like they just had a moment, like they had their like, so like, they had their moment. So Brie now didn't do anything this episode. Brie is on the chopping block. I'm telling you that now. Brie is on the chopping block. Yeah, Brie got to step her it up. Her looks only got her so far. If she doesn't step it up. She got to step it up. <sighs> wow, this episode, I don't know. You know, looking at next, the, the previews, someone's going home. Honestly, even though it could be Brie, I still think like she may stay. Like he probably took Monica on a date to really see like, yo, do I really, really have a, can I really see myself for her? Do I really have a connection with her? I, I, I think, I think so because Erin's safe. Erin's already making it to the final two. It could be Brie or Monica that's going home and it could be Monica. I'm just saying that just cause I can't, sometimes lines are blurred. You are right. Erin is safe. She will be making it to the top two. Mm -hmm. Brie, see the thing with Brie, Monica's going on a date. Right. So if that date goes well, where does that leave Brie Ooh. other than being the favorite? Right. You feel what I'm saying? So she's gonna really have to step it all the way up. Like she's gonna have to put in work. Like you're gonna have to 
put in overtime and after the date with right. his horseback riding. You, you gotta, gotta get any time you can. You gotta leave your trail and go kiss up on him because you know that's his love language kissing. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this episode, the serial kisser was on the loose. Right. At its all time high. At its peak. Right. Moving oh. rapidly. You know what though? I would say. I, I probably am saying that Monica may go home after the date because I might still be in a little bit in denial that Bree's his girl. There's no, no one else but Bree. Like, I still might not even... Yeah, but I feel like everyone has stepped it up. To me, it's, it's already showing that mm -hmm. Bree hasn't done much yeah. to this point right. to get here. Right. Even at last challenge, she found one letter. Yeah. One. But he also gave her an excuse. He said, oh, but it's okay, though. Yeah, like, he was like, it's fine. Yeah, that's still his favorite. Yeah, but like you said. But if the other girls are stepping it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the point where it's better than Bree, then. Yeah, because she's not showing anything that's like proactive. Like, nah, that's my man. That's my man. That's my man. She's just like, what are we eating for lunch today? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But one thing I do want to say mm -hmm. is if it comes down to Aaron and Bree, I feel like he would still pick Bree. Because okay. he already has a past with Aaron. True. He's so, already been down that road. Yeah, so Who he knows? can always explore that outside of the show regardless I mean, of anything. true, but sometimes old habits die hard. And maybe he might go back to his old ways. You never know. He has one way. <laughs> kissing people. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what it is about Nate. Like, bro, do you brush your teeth before you kiss the next girl? Do, do you, like, you know, take Listerine strips? If you're one of the girls in the house, just be the first to kiss Nate that day. Right, right, because, right. Because, like, Monica, you, you, you tonguing down Erin at this point. Erin in her forehead. Like, mm. come on. All right, well, let us know what you guys think of this week's episode. Let us know who you guys think is going home next, if it's Brie or Monica, because... Aaron's obviously safe. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I will be going live with Aaron and Monica. So who knows? They may spill some tea. 9 p.m. Pacific time on my Instagram. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll holler at you guys later. Peace. Peace.